Hey everyone, this is Scott from Xexpress and today we are going to create a sticky menu from scratch using our WP Floating Menu Pro. So to do this, please go to your backend, uh, hover over WP Floating Menu Pro and click on All Menus or Add New Menus. I'm just going to click on Add New Menus. So once I've done this, it will open a Add New Navigation Menu page. Uh, I'll just name this example sticky menu and I'll create the menu you can see that your page post categories are all listed over here you also have an option to create custom links so for this I'm just going to add some pages over here let's say the about me page a home page and let's say a contact us page and add to the menu so once I've done this uh, let me rearrange this so do, and to do this I'll just need to drag and drop it into the correct order that I want so I want it in this order let's save the menu so for the home page I'm just gonna click on the drop down and see the different settings that I have so home level I'm just gonna copy it I want to show the navigation level paste it as the title attribute paste it as the tooltip I want to show the tooltip uh, and here is my link I want it to open in the same tab so I'm gonna uncheck this to create a menu icon I'm just gonna select the icon here I have more than 300 icons over here and these include stash icons your font awesome icons and vision icons so for home I think I'll use a dash icon called admin home Similarly, for an about, I'm just going to copy this about. I want to show the navigation level, paste it as my title attribute, paste it as my tooltip, show tooltip, open it in a new tab, select icon, and I'm just going to choose this admin user icon. Here you'll see that I can choose a custom color to the icon. So let's say I want this to be yellow. For this also, I can choose a custom color, let's say red. And the last one, contact us. I'm just going to copy the navigation level. I want to show the navigation level, so I'm just going to click on show navigation level. Title attribute, tooltip title, show tooltip title. I want to open this in a new tab as well. Go to menu icons and let's see. Go to font awesome and select the envelope and the uh, template and the icon color i want it to be let's say maybe green so i'm gonna save my menu so go to your display settings and you can choose from a custom template or a built-in template so for the built-in template, I have 13 different templates. You can choose from any one you like. Let's say I want template 3. I get 6 different menu positions that includes from top left, uh, middle left, bottom left, top right, middle right, bottom right. And for template 11, 12, and 13 are our horizontal floating menus and for this you get additional options of bottom left bottom right and bottom center for now i'm just gonna choose template number three and save and if i go to my floating menu settings i'll see options to enable the menu uh, enable the option to show it on mobile view select uh, the menu that i've just created as my default menu and I want it to show on all pages and I'm going to save the settings. So I'm just going to go to my front end. And here is my menu. So you can see it's quite odd with colors. So if I want to create a custom template on the basis of this, I'll just go to my backend and build custom templates. Uh, I'm going to create a new template 
let's call it example 2 so the tem template I was using was template 3 and here is my template 3 so I want the icon background color to be let's say red or a blue let's say blue or just a plain white I want the icon size to be around 20px icon margin about 2px I want the active hover color to be let's say red and font color to be white so it's white on white so make it black typography I just want it to be in the flowers Flowers. I want it to be. I don't want to set a text up, text transform. So whatever I type will show as it is. Font size, let's say 14 px. Tooltip settings. Font color to be black. The background color to be. What's the color I'm using here? So I want it to be yellow. And the typography to be in the flower again. Say in the flower. Text transform again. I want it to be a none and font size about 14. I'm gonna save this. So I'm going to go back to all my menu settings. So this is the menu we had created earlier. I'm going to choose edit. Go to display settings and choose a custom template that we just created. Sample 2 and I want it to be on the middle right. Say middle right and I'm gonna save the settings. So let's view our front end. And here we have our menu clean with a clean look. So that is how you create a sticky menu. On the next video, we'll learn how to create a one-page navigation menu. Thank you.